G'day guys, welcome back. Look, I'm going to play with my geode mould today, my silicon mould, which means it's another resin day. Yay! <laughs> I do enjoy the resin days. Right, now I have got something new to show you. Um, I have got these. Look at these. Uh, I was watching um, YouTube, as I do, <laughs> you know, when you've got nothing else to do or just in the background, watch some YouTube. And um, I saw the lovely Tish from Naptime Creations. Hi, Tish. <laughs> Love your work. She did these um, iridescent kind of foils. I think they're called foils. So um, I went online to Etsy and I got some. And when they arrived, I, well, I was really disappointed. I thought, oh, I'm putting them in the light and I'm thinking, there's no iridescence. Oh no, I've bought the wrong one. But it's the other side where the magic happens. Look. So yeah, it took me a little while to work out that it's on the back, you silly woman. So anyway, I bought a whole heap of those because I thought, well, if I'm paying shipping to come from overseas, I might as well get a few. Love this one. So I got a few. Um, I got some flowery ones. See, I thought this one would be really nice on a tray, like to edge a tray maybe, and then put some maybe real flowers inside as well. Well, you know, dried flowers. So I got that. Um, and then there's some moons. And we have some suns. <laughs> I think I got a bit carried away. Um, sea creatures. Uh, what else have we got? These things. I thought they'd be fun on coasters, you know, little round coasters. I'll keep these ones for when I do my six round coaster moulds. And then these ones are kind of mountains, big ones there. But I thought, yeah, coasters and some trays, butterflies. You know my butterfly mould that I've got? I actually bought these to go inside my butterfly mould. I was hoping that they would fit. So lots of butterflies. What else have I got? some suns suns and moons so yeah like I said I got a bit carried away but today uh, because I'm going to use this particular geode mold I got these I'm going to use these ones and use like that set to go in there so I'll cut it's because it's a sheet like that you have to cut it out so let's let's see if we can do that with my scissors um, scissors where are you? They're not answering. Oh, I'll have to use my other ones. These are a bit messy looking, these ones. So, I'm assuming I take that off and I'm just going to cut I'm just going to cut it out for now. That one section. Like that and I'll put that back on the paper to keep it safe oh easy I've got a dog crying at the window over there she sees me she wants to come in so these are the iridescent ones um, as far as I know the iridescent and the holographic are the ones to buy but um, I, I just preferred holograph um, iridescent I got all iridescent because it just picks up all these different colors so now I think, actually I probably shouldn't do that over my mould. So now I'm just going to actually cut. Don't have to, you know, be exact with it, but I'm just going to sort of cut around the butterfly. I'm not going to go inside there because it's clear you're not going to see it in the resin so I'm just going to cut as sort of close as I can I'm not going to be too precise about my cutting I guess you could if you wanted to but gee, you're going to be here all day if you're doing a few there we go and there's the other piece so I'm going to I think that would sort of look nice in there I could Actually, I might, I might, I might separate them and then put that on the side and then move the butterfly over. Just 
I don't know, how does that look in the middle like that? I guess if I moved it over and put the moon, I guess it's a moon with a flower on that side and then move the butterfly over, but then I might have a big gap in the middle. So, I don't know. <laughs> I guess, alright, let's have a look and see what it looks like. Here I go. On a whim. I decide these things on a whim. Alright, so that's the, like the moon with flowers so it's more on the side and then let's cut my little butterfly out a little bit more and then you can sort of put your butterfly wherever you want to hey spread it out a little bit more just have a play decide where you want them I don't know. It's, it has just kind of spread them out just a touch not a lot so that's what I'm going to do um, so I'll cut all of them out and then I'll come back to you now the other thing I'm doing, like when I was watching Tish do hers, um, which looked really amazing, I thought I'm just going to do mine a little bit different to hers and I'll tell you what she did and how I'm going to change it um, to the way I want to do it. So she put down, from memory, she put down clear first and then put the sticker down, iridescent side down onto the clear and then she poured black over the top which just sets the colours off. I am personally going to do that in reverse and the reason why I'm going to do that in reverse is because if your mould has got any scratches or any smears or anything like that on it, which you know it happens with moulds because they're silicone then it's going to show up on, on the top of your finished products. So I'm going to do that in reverse. So I'm going to put black down first. Then I'm going to put my sticker down. It's not a sticker, but I'm going to put it iridescent side up because the black's the bottom. You want to see that. And then I'm going to pour clear over the top. Now that's going to do two things. Um, a, it's going to have a beautiful clear, non-scratch, scuffed surface. And B, if there's any bubbles, they're going to be underneath. Okay, because if you do it the other way, you kind of have to poke, like try and get all the bubbles out. Whereas if I do it like this, with the clear on top, I'll be able to torch any bubbles that come to the surface. So anyway, that's my way of thinking. Whether or not it'll work, whether or not it's a good idea, I don't know. But that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to mix up my black. I'm using the Lorez Midnight Black. And because it's a really opaque colour and hasn't got any sparkle to it, I thought I'd add some of this. Black Magic. And try and get a little bit of a sparkle. Right, so I'm going to mix up my resin and um, cut out my shapes. And I'll be right back. Right, I've mixed up my resin. I'm using the Platinum 360 Plus because it sets up nice and quick. So I'm just going to wait until my black layer is tacky, you know, so that you can touch it and it doesn't stick to you. Um, but it's still soft and it'll leave fingerprints. And then I'm going to come down and put my stickers on. I'm calling them stickers. It's just easier. <laughs> um, and um, then, yeah, then we do the clear coat. So you don't have to wait until it's set rock hard. I, all right. So here we go, a scoop of the black paste. I guess if you're using a, a resin that takes a lot longer to set up, um, you can do the same thing. Like as long as it's touch dry, you can go and put your resin foil on. Um, and then, you know, do your, do your next coat and then you still have to wait your 24 hours then you know, to unmold. Whereas mine, I this particular resin, the 360 plus, I can unmold sort of six to uh, sorry, eight to twelve hours depending on the weather. So that's really good. Right. Now that is nice and opaque. Now I'm hoping that this black magic is going to give it sort of a bit of a shimmer because you know that's just plain black in there. So let's see. Hopefully it will. One two let's do two scoops for now 
and see how that's going to look. I'm just going to shield it from my mould so it doesn't fly in there. I guess it won't really matter anyway, will it? Okay, I can see a bit of a shimmer in there. I think I'd like a bit more shimmer. Let's do one more. One more little scoop. It's very fine. So I just want the black to have a shimmer. I don't want... See, I thought about putting um, glitter in, but then the glitter's quite heavy and it'll sink to the bottom, so you probably won't see it anyway. Whereas if you use something like this, um, hopefully it will stay suspended. Because what we're going to see now is you know, going to be the finished product. It's not like you're going to flip it over and, and see the back. All right, that'll do. That'll do. Just a hint of shimmer. Because the magic is going to be from the actual resin foil. So... We don't need the background to be too blingy. It's just, just something for it to sit on. Now, with this particular mould, um, it if you fill it right up to the surface, it takes 480 grams of resin. I only want to do half or less than half. So I have got... I'll show you my chart. Here's my chart. I've shown you before. So half... Of 480 is 240 so look along here I don't really want to do 250 I'd rather go a little bit less so I'm going to do 214 so what I've done because my resin is a 2 to 1 resin I've gone 150 grams of A and 64 grams of B and that'll give me 214 grams so and that should be enough just for a very thin coating so that's how I do it Right, here we go. Let's pour a bit in. Oh, look at it, so pretty. I'm just going to pour a puddle in of each first to make sure I've got enough to go around. And then I'll add a bit more. Probably not a good idea putting a whole heap in the first one and then you've run out for your others. So I'm just going to divide this equally now. I'm not going to do my little hearts because I haven't, haven't got anything that kind of fits in there at the moment. Oh, look how sparkly it is. It's worked. It'd be a really nice background for a galaxy core. Right, oh guys. I've taken its cover off. It's touch dry. It's not sticky at all. Uh, it is one o'clock, so 10.30 has finished, so it's only been like two and a half hours. So, I've got all my little pieces cut out. I kind of wish it was a little bit tacky, because then it would stick better. But, I guess the good thing about having it like this is if, if you make a mistake, you know, you can lift it up and move it. Right, so... Um, oh, the other thing I was going to tell you, <laughs> oh gosh, I didn't mean to put that there. Um, the other thing I was going to tell you is that some of, some of the other pieces were a bit smaller. So I picked the six biggest ones. So there's actually three and then copies of those three. Uh, if I chose ones that were different see they are much smaller so there's different sizes so we'll use them another time so I've got two of each right let's do this now there I stuck my finger in it so I'm just going to heat that and um, where I left that little nail print when I was picking this up it will just kind of melt away again. All right, let's be a little bit more careful where I put this, shall we? Okay, so obviously because it's not going into clear wet resin, you don't have to worry about bubbles. 
and then I'm going to put the wings on the outside of each. So there, I'll just push it down, give it a bit of a rub. Alrighty, one down. So this here, I'm just sort of making sure that it's got the equal kind of distance around there. I mean, it doesn't have to be exact, but. Actually, that's probably a little bit too far in. I don't know that I can move it now. Let's see. Oh, yeah. See, that's the good thing about having it a little bit more kind of set. You can pick it up and move it. I like to move it, move it. All right. Other butterfly. Mm, I'm going to do that way. So I'm going to have the wider side out. See, that butterfly is looking in. I should probably do it that way. This is a little bit trickier than I thought. Just um, trying to get them even, that's all. But no, look, they don't have to be. Push it down. Once you've pushed it down and, and you know, done that with it, I don't think you'll be able to pick it up again. better at this as I go along but you know your butterflies don't all have to be facing the same way just do whatever you want with them some can be looking in some can be like that some can be that way others can be that way let's try and try and push that down you can kind of see if it's got a good grip on the resin underneath. I'm just going to do them all the same way. Obviously they're going to be, once you unmold them, they'll be moved around, but just for the sake of me putting them in the same sort of pattern. Now that one went that way, so I'm going to turn this around and do it this way for this guy, because that's the, that's the matching one for that one. So, make sure that you're putting the holographics up. You'll be able to see because <laughs> it's black on the other side. So I'll do this uh, and then I will mix up my resin. Now that's the matching one for that one. So I'll just turn him around this way. And that's looking good. And I'm just going to make the same resin again, the 360 plus, because it sets up nice and quick. It's looking really pretty already, isn't it? Nice and sparkly. But look, you didn't have to cut your butterfly out. You could have just, you know, had them just in the one foil. Right, now here is the matching one. Oh, see, it's black that way. Now he was going... A bit opposite see he's like that I can't if I turn him the same way he'll be backwards all right I'll be having him looking out this time we could do it that way no I'll do it this way here we go down he goes all right so that's them done looking really good looking really good And hopefully we'll have a nice end product. All right, um, I'm going to go and mix up some more resin. So the last one I did 214 grams. So the next one, it's going to have to be a little bit more. Um, so I'll probably go 250. Shine from up here. Oh, they're so pretty. All right, mix up some resin. I'll be right back. Right, 
right, I'm back. I was actually toying up with the idea of mixing up a little bit of gold leaf and putting it around the edge. But if I was going to do that, I should have kept the stickers closer together and just put them in the middle and then put gold around. But I will do that on one of my others because, oh, maybe the moons. Yes, yes, that's what I'll do. I'll do it with the moons on a bigger round coaster. So keep an eye out for that one. So I've got my resin. I mixed up 250 grams. It is the 360 plus by Platinum. Now I'm going to spray just with my little atomizer here, my alcohol, because, and I'm going to try and sort of get around the edges like that, because, um, actually I probably don't need to, because I'm going to paint the edges gold anyway, but look, I'll give it a bit of a spray, it just stops um, the bubbles from sticking, because this is a, a thicker resin, so I'll just do that, pour that on, I'll just cover it. Oops, I think I've already gone to put too much in. Oh gosh. I forgot that it was half full already. Aren't I a silly Billy? Oh, gosh. I'm trying to show you how to do something and I do it wrong. Look, I've, I've spilled. Yeah, I forgot that it was already half full. <laughs> I'm so used to just pouring away and not thinking about it. But yeah, it's half full already. So don't put too much in, hey? All right, let me clean that up. Righty-o. My little baby wipe. Oh, gosh, it's still leaking. If you're going to, like, um, try and get some resin out of your mould, go inwards like that. That way um, it's cleaning up your edge of your mould as well at the same time. <laughs> oh, well, you get to see how to clean up a mould if you overfill, hey? Push in. Push in. Because if you pull out, all you're going to do is make it the resin sort of pull over your mould, and then you're going to have more of a mess. So just push in like so. All right, I think that's it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, let's try again. Um, and... I'll put so much in. I might have enough resin to do something else with. But look, I only made up 250. 250 grams. All right, let's do that one. Next one, move on. Bit of a spray. It won't hurt anything. I tested it on a piece, on one of the other, other um, iridescent films, and uh, the alcohol didn't take away the colour or it didn't go smeary or anything so I thought yep that'll do always test it you know what the alcohol is going to do before you put it on something like that all right now I'm on a roll it's so pretty If you had a little piece of, like a little butterfly or something, you could put it in there. And I guess it could have. I've got, I've got a little butterfly I could have put in there. You know, not the whole piece, but just a butterfly. I could have. Now, if you want this mold, it is in my eBay store. It's called the Geode Coaster Mold with the rock edges. So grab yourself one before they all run out again. <laughs> All right, so very, very bubble-less at the moment because of that alcohol. So we'll give it a torch, though. That's my little butterfly here. See this little, little tiny one? I think he's probably too big. Oh, maybe, maybe that way. Yeah, he would have fit, actually. He would have fit. I would have just had to cut the butterfly out and move it down a little bit. But yeah, he would have fitted in there. Fitted. Is that a word? I'm back. And look, they're done. Don't they look amazing? Look at that one over there. Look how blue it looks. 
They look so different in different lights. Now it's evening, it's um, quarter past nine at night. I've got my LED ring light on, I've got my spotlight on, my overhead lights. So hopefully I'll be able to show you what they look like in good light. And then maybe tomorrow I can go outside and look at them in the sunshine. All right. See, when I look straight down on them, they look just silver. And it's not until you start moving them around and they catch the light that you can see all these amazing, amazing colors. <gasps> look at that. Wowzers. Now, on this one, you can very, very faintly see the plastic underneath there. I guess if I did it again, I would try, even though it takes a bit longer, it's a little bit more time and everything, but I think it would be worthwhile cutting them a little bit closer just so that you didn't see that. Um, I'm just going to see that light there. Hang on, I'm just going to turn that one off. It's annoying me. Righto. So there's that one. Look at, oh, just look at those colours. Oh my gosh. I guess the other thing, see it's got a very, very, um, oh look at that, all the glitter's gone to the back. That's the thing with glitter, even though it was very fine, it did sink. So there's not much on this side, there's just a, a little sprinkle of it, but Maybe if I put a little bit more in, but then it probably would have just sunk anyway. So, yeah, not sure. Um, but I, what I was saying, though, is if you have more glitter in the black, um, I think it might disguise the background of that foil. Oh, look at that. There's the red. Where'd it go? There it is. Oh, where'd it go? You've got to hold your tongue just right. <laughs> There's rainbow. Uh, if you see, if you look at it straight down, like sort of like that, you just get silver. Oh, there's the blue. Oh, then we go purples, reds. Oh my gosh, <gasps> I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. Right, get them all out real quick, um, and then I'm going to do a real quick sand if I need to. So you, you'd sort of have it that way. Well. Not that there's a right and a wrong way for a coaster, but he's sort of flying away. And then this one, see that you'd have it that way with the butterfly on the bottom. But again, you know, it doesn't matter. This one would be that way. Last one. I'm just going to, I'll sand one now for you. See how easily they just pop out? And they have got, I don't know if I can show you, oh, won't focus. See, the edges aren't glossy because they're rock edges. It doesn't know what to focus on. But when you, you paint them like gold or silver or copper or whatever, then uh, they look really realistic. Right, oh, well, I've got this one in my hand, so let's do this one. Uh, let's see if I need to do any sanding at all. Let's put that there so I don't get dust all over my little beauties. Now, just a quick little sand with my emery board nail file. Try not to touch the top. Get fingerprints on it. So the first layer I did, I poured at 10.30 a.m. And then the second layer, I think I did at 1 o'clock from memory because I, I was saying it's only been sitting for two and a half hours. So it was 1 o'clock and now it's just after 9, so it's 8 hours later. So it's been... Um, it's been about 11 hours, I guess, since I started, and, you know, they're rock hard, as you can see, ready to take out. I can sand them. It's really great resin that can do that. 
and I'm just sanding off any little rough edges you know where I've overflowed a little bit I did try to make them as full as I could because I didn't want that little lip you know that little ridge that you get I didn't want that I'd rather just sand off any little overflow because I'm going to paint the edges anyway I'm not fussed if I get a little bit of a scuff mark there let's go as fast as I can and then you can just feel it with your finger make sure it's smooth if you can still feel a, a bit of roughness then just go over it again I'm just going over the whole thing whether it needs it or not <laughs> And then I'm going to use my favorite gold pen. Okay, so that's it. Done. Give it a bit of a, a wipe, get the dust off. Okay, there we go. Let's look across the top. Look at that. How's that for a finish, hey? Isn't that amazing? Not a mark on it. I don't even see a bubble. Do you see a bubble anywhere? I don't see a bubble anywhere. All right, let's get on with this. Ah, I talk too much. <laughs> All right, so my usual deco color. And, oops, don't roll away lid. All right, so the first thing I need to do is, um, I might have to put you on fast forward. Again, it doesn't know what to focus on, so let's do that. Are you going to focus? Maybe I'll take the auto focus off. No. Nope. Whoa, it's a close up. Oh, I always struggle with um, trying to do the close ups for you. Okay, don't move. I'm in focus. I can't move. Right, I'll just do a little bit so I can show you what the edges look like. I'm trying to watch the screen at the same time to see if we're in focus, plus look over the camera to see what I'm actually doing. A little bit tricky here, doing two things at once. Let's do a little bit so that you can see what I mean. So I want to do this properly. I don't really want to rush them. See, look at the edge there. It's not totally smooth, so it looks like a it's like a rock edge. All right, so once I've done that, um, and I'll finish it off later, I just want to see what it looks like when I do my little edge around the top. Now it's up to you um, how thick or thin you want to make this little edge. I don't, my, I don't like it too thick. Oops, I've gone over there. I don't like it too thick. I think it just looks a bit tacky if it's too thick. Just a little thin, elegant line, I think, is all we need. Don't touch the gold or it'll come off on your fingers and then spread everywhere. So just be careful. You don't want to, you know, get this gold in the center because it's really hard to get off. You'll have to... Um, use acetone you know nail polish remover and then it'll actually make your resin go dull 
in the area that you've rubbed it on it sort of takes the shine off so just be really careful take your time don't bump <laughs> ah, only kidding I'm in a stupid mood <laughs> now I better be careful I might be running out of gold so just a little bit on the edge like that I may have to go over it again my pen may be running out it's not going as on as smoothly as it could and also they get little hairs and things on them and you have to pick them off there we go give it a shake get that color to come down let's go over that little bit there where I've missed a bit It looks amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it with that little gold edge. Uh, you could go silver if you preferred because the actual sticker, you know, when you haven't got the color on it, it actually looks silver. So you could do silver and I may actually do half silver and half gold. But when you look at it like that, you know, it picks up the yellow which kind of looks gold so that's why I thought I'll put the the gold on it. it it's more warm if you have silver it's a more cool color but when you look at it like I said without any color on it it's silver so you may want to put silver on it and where's that little bit that I painted I only painted a little bit I'll finish the rest of them there we go that's kind of what it's going to look like <laughs> what do you think it's just amazing 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 right so uh, if you want the mold the link is below in the description and if you want the stickers well they're uh, resin foils um, I'll put the link in the description as well as to where I bought them on the Etsy store all right uh, I'll finish this and um, I'll take a photo of them tomorrow in the Sun all right this was so much fun and I've got so many more sheets to do so if you've got any ideas of what you want to see me do with the others, the other sheets of uh, vinyl foils, let me know. Open to suggestions. All right. Love you all, guys. See you real soon. Bye for now. Hey, guys. I actually turned off the lights, ready to leave the room, and then I just thought, oh, wow, look what it's doing without any of the LED lights on. So I thought, oh, I've got to jump back on and show you because the background is really sparkly. Look at the sparkle in it. And then the gold rim is just really sparkling. And then, of course, the butterflies and the flowers and the moon, everything's just being so sparkly. Look at those down there. I haven't done these yet, but look at them. Why are they just catching... The light and it hasn't even got any of the um the leds on i just really love the way it's sparkling it's picking it up more now with the lights turned off so there you go i wanted to show you that right I, i've painted this one <laughs> i've got another five to do all right it's tomorrow's job <laughs> all right see you soon